Today we're talking about taking one of these and turning it into this. Yes, this is the Fabu Strife, finally. We've been talking about this build for a long time now. It's been in the plans for a long time. It's undergone many changes from what I wanted it to be, what I thought it was gonna be, to what it ended up being, but I'm glad that the version one of the Fabu Strife is done. There are a lot of things to talk about with this, so let's just get right on into it. Um, obviously, the, it's a Strife. Get that out of the way first. Uh, we took the stock, that is a very tight fit, took the stock off of our Retalifab that is no longer functional, we need to fix that, so for now we're using this off of that, because uh, it fits quite nicely since we use the same color scheme for everything, but uh, let's talk about the bodywork first, since I did some things to this that I really thought would help with some of the lines, and that is kind of smoothing a lot of this out. You saw some of the putty work in the uh, time lapse there, there's that groove on this flat side of the strife that gives it a little bit of depth, but also makes it very obvious or very strife-like, I guess, that the same lines are on every single strife. And I didn't really want those on mine. I didn't want them on the fabric strife. So I, I filled it in and tried to smooth it out uh, as best I could. I also used the worker teeth gap fillers here on the front on both sides. Uh, and I just wanted a nice flat surface to give me that nice line that I could go across with um, and mimic that on partially the front right here. And I think for the most part, I like the idea. Uh, my first time using epoxy sculpt was interesting. There's a lot to learn. When I thought I had things smooth and joined well, I did not. So uh, there's some things that I could go back and refine, but this is the more simple side, though I do like the way the paint turned out on this side so much more than the other side. I really like uh, a lot of the lines that I was able to achieve with this. I like that this portion right here in white actually almost lines up with this other portion in white after the blue separation here. And just, I, I like how this side came out a lot. Um, I left the kind of texture and elite logo here. I, I, I like having that little bit of feeling underneath my thumb. So I left that because it gives me something kind of extra to grip onto, um, which is nice. I understand why people smooth this out. I just chose not to. And this is actually the first time that I have painted a grip. Normally on the other Fabu Blasters, I leave the grips untouched. Uh, I mean, that's not quite, but yeah. Uh, so this was a first for me and it was interesting. I, I think it adds something different, but it was definitely a learning experience. So this side is where even more was done. Uh, we do have a containment crew, super expanded battery tray that they did, did for me uh, by my request because I use big batteries apparently. Um, but I did a lot of epoxy sculpt 
on this side. Some you probably won't even notice if you aren't looking at it is that this section right here, I actually built this up. Normally it sits flush or close to flush with the jam door here. And you'll notice mine raises up a little bit more. I wanted to try and kind of reduce the amount of uh, depth difference there was between the motor cover and the battery tray, because if that went down even more, it would look even more like a, a, a valley with, between two hills. And this kind of levels it out or evens it out just a little bit, not completely by any stretch, but just a little bit. Uh, this is a Grijas gear. Uh, 180 motor cover. I currently don't have 180s in here, but we'll talk about that in a minute here. I like this cover. It actually has some really nice, nice teething designs that mimic or kind of match the teeth on the stripe normally. But once I put it on, I realized, oh yeah, I'm covering the teeth. This doesn't quite match now. So I actually epoxy sculpt over the teeth and smoothed that out and then wrote Fabu uh, just engraved it into the side of it because I was like, you know what? I've got some stuff to play with now. I, you know, why, why don't I do that? Just have some fun with it. Um, and then I tried to use some epoxy sculpt to kind of smooth out and even out the join between the cover and the shell itself, which is interesting. There's a lot of definitely little points here and there that uh, aren't smooth, but I... I'm starting to get why people enjoy using it because I was able to kind of follow some of the lines in certain places and try and make things more natural. And I understand kind of the, the fun, I guess, of trying to uh, create clean lines and emulate a certain look. So uh, it was definitely an interesting learning experience, which this entire blaster has been a learning experience, which is why it's the V1 and we will do a V2 of this. But overall, I, I I'm pleased with how it came out with. And then, of course, externally, the last big thing to talk about are the Biggs NZ parts. His, his resin cast parts are just fantastic. This is actually uh, one of his prototypes that he sent me quite a while back for this specific build. And I've been sitting on it for so long, and it's been driving me crazy. I'm so happy to finally have it in a blaster. If you have not seen Biggs' work... Definitely go check it out if you're looking for anything resin cast for your strife or whatever build you're working on. Um, so we've got a full a full set of uh, pink parts to go with the blaster, uh, including a special worker extended mag release mimic that uh, I don't believe he sells because they're worker designs. Maybe I'm wrong. I need to check on that, but uh, definitely a nice touch. So that's, I believe, going to do it for the externals. Now, unfortunately... If you look closely, you'll see, aside from a little bit of bleed here and there that is always a bummer, uh, I had to do this rushed because I decided I wanted to get it done for End War. So I gave myself a very strict timeline. What that made me realize is certain things can't be done on a timeline. So I had some paint issues because paint wasn't quite drying or wasn't allowed the time to dry properly. Uh, and then I wanted to 2K clear coat this didn't have time because it wasn't going to be able to cure fully as well. So I had to just do a regular clear coat and you can already see damage uh, from things like practicing loading magazines and just event stuff. So it's just the nature of the beast. Overall, I'm happy with this. Let's talk about the internals really quick. Uh, we have a 15 amp Omron switch in here, which is because I, for some reason, picked up a 15 instead of a 21 amp. I don't, I'm going to go in and replace that, actually. Uh, but then we've got an XT60 connector wired in here. We're using all blue and white wiring because, I mean, fabulous. Why not? Uh, currently in here is a uh, containment crew cage at 42 millimeters with uh, Neo Rhinos and Insutanto wheels from Out of Darts because it's a nice quick spin-up time, hits around 130 FPS. It's what I used at End War, but this cage will be getting changed out. And because I do use Dean's connectors for all my cages now, I can swap that out without much of an issue. It is also using a containment crew extended pusher, though that will likely be changing when uh, Devil's Net Nerfworks uh, dual pusher shows up, which is his uh, short dart, long dart, or full length dart. Uh, pusher that should work for both. I'll be testing that out. And if it works as I hope it works, that will be going in here to make things easier all around. But that, I believe, just about does it for 
the Fabu Strafe V1. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think of this build? What would you change for it? Uh, what do you want to see in the future for a version 2? Uh, definitely leave your thoughts down below. I love hearing all of them. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. We do weekly Nerf news every Saturday. I'm working more and more on other uh, Fabu style builds, gameplay videos, all kinds of good stuff. So definitely, definitely join the community and we'd love to have you here. With that said... Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.